Hi, my name is Selena, and today I present to you Emily Bosbach, who is the senior Canadian women's champion of figure skating. And she won second at the junior national championships, as well as has been a five-time junior Grand Prix competitor for Canada. And she had the leading international score in the Canadian ladies during the 2019-2020 season at the ISU Challenger Series in Warsaw Cup. And some of her hobbies include biking, cooking, and writing. She is going to share her journey on how she has transitioned during our unprecedented times and you know how she achieved her goal of winning uh, nationals for Canada and um, how she's dealing with not being able to go to the world championships. It is not in the stars to hold our destiny, but in ourselves. If I would have heard that sentence a year ago, I would have laughed. I believe us as individuals were getting dragged along the ride of life and took everything life threw at us. I sit here a year later as a national champion of Canada, world team member and undergraduate student here at SFU. Did I ever think I would achieve all that as a 17 year old? To be honest, not really. I don't buy into wishful thinking and dreaming of the future. I believe in focusing on the present and not getting too ahead of yourself. I carried that belief with me throughout the past year and it allowed me to focus on myself and my goals instead of worrying about others. I found the balance between juggling life as a full-time athlete and part-time student. I spent the majority of my senior year in high school attending one class in the morning and taking the rest of my classes online. Sure, I missed out on my prime adolescence years, but I wouldn't trade my career for anything. Life is so unexpected and you really do have to take every moment and live it to the fullest. I'm currently recovering from a broken foot injury that happened to me when I thought things were getting better. It was a devastating injury, but instead of looking at the situation glass half empty, I saw the situation as not ideal, but not the end of the world. I broke my foot two weeks before my graduation. I was able to enjoy the last memory of high school, and I knew I wouldn't have appreciated it as much if I was skating at the same time. I am back to full training now, and I have my two new programs, which I will use to defend my title at this year's upcoming nationals. To all the new undergraduates and students at SFU, remember to stay genuine to yourself and never change who you are to fit other people's molds.